And then they proceed not to engage in science. Right. So I don't really know. It's like the uh, ast Astrology Objective, Objective Facts Society. <clears throat> okay, so hi, welcome to Talking Fans People. I'm host Eric. This actually will be the final video in this series of for the evening session here. And at least the last one I'm going to make. And I want to know if anybody wants to suggest a topic. We have been talking about science. Unify was asking the other guys about it, those who were here who had ideas about what they wanted to study, about what they wanted to study. And um, Ken pointed out that studying creative writing is probably not something that should cost tens of thousands of dollars. So, do we want to talk a little bit more about higher education, or would you guys like to talk about something else? I don't know. I mean, I like the format. It's vague. We start a video, and then we just ramble until shit get done. How does this sound? Do we just want to talk about random stuff until something seems ideal? Yeah. Let's chat. Let's practice round table roundness. So, you know, to mention a little chatty type of subject here, I finished my first week of debate school this week, and the numbers are not strong or anything. They're not looking great, but they're better than I feared, and given the fact that I had so many partnership disruptions the last few months and all this other kind of stuff that went on, I feel happy and relieved that I've got shit rolling again. I guess the the topic of that or the takeaway of it is that you just don't know until shit happens how it's going to play down. You know, you just don't know. You just can't know. And people always want to ask you, "Well, how is that going to work? How's it?" I don't know. You have to wait and see. <laughs> Do you know more than that how your shit's going to play out unified? Yeah. Well, no. I'm not a big fan. <laughs> Even now, uh, I want to say something, but I don't know what to say. So I'm going to just keep coming up with shit to say until something important comes up. That, that's called using your tool function, unified. That's, that's how we roll. It, the yeah. key, this is one of those moments really where moment. you... <laughs> <laughs> this is one of those moments you wish you I wish I was Zach he got that anything going on you know, like I've, I've noticed you be being sort of active more active in general and sort of making more of an effort to say a few more things the last few times I've, I've spoken with you and I appreciate that and I think it adds a lot so I encourage yeah. it to the extent that you have any hesitation please don't yeah I wish, yeah, I wish I had something to say. Okay. I had something to say, then I just held back. That's fine. That's good. I like the uh, self, I, I like it when metacognition spirals into into a headache. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's when you know you've metacognated enough today. Is that high enough up on the meta? I, I've got a splitting fucking headache. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Barry, do you have any thoughts on this matter of loads of research? Look at job descriptions. I need your advice too on something, but that's just another topic. Well, let's talk about that. Is this topic now? You just no, it's, it's about woman shit. I, I love giving other people advice about women. I don't know anything about women, but I love giving them advice anyway. <laughs> As someone who has no relationship experience, but who does have a PhD in whimsitology, I would be willing to sell my services to you for two hundred fifty dollars an hour. Uh, I, I'm okay, going to give you... give it to you for two hundred fifty fun bucks an hour. That's just like dollars, except that you don't have to cost you anything. I give you Chuck E. Cheese tickets. No, no, no. 
worth I'll more than fun bucks. Hundred and fun bucks. Tell us, tell us the story, Unify. Tell us the story of your romantic woes, and we shall guide you to the promised land of of romantic bliss. Romantic bliss. It might be bliss, or it might just crash and burn, like everything goes. Well, it depends how carefully you follow the advice, Unify. Because the advice <laughs> is going to be perfect. If you follow it exactly, you're going to be guaranteed nirvana. Okay. No, we have just, to know the facts. Give it to us. Give us the facts. Well, all of the facts are just... I, well, I thought she was an I, INTJ, right? It's a chick at my job. She's been working there for about a, a month now. <coughs> and I've been asking her questions trying to type her. I didn't know I was trying to type her at first, but it just turned out to be that way. And I found out she was an INTJ. But then the more I asked her questions, the more I found out she wasn't an INTJ. She was an INFP. INFP. She's really quiet. She's really f nice. Always smiley. But you can tell she's hurting on the inside. Like there's something going on. And that's when I found out she was in a relationship. I told host Eric this a, a little while back. She was in a relationship with uh, another woman. And uh, that's when she, because I asked her out right after this. I asked her out to go to the movies. And she said, well, no, I might be busy. And I'm like, uh, okay, that's okay. Just give me a, a sign whenever you want to, you know, because we're going as just friends. Everything is on me. I'm paying for everything. We just go as friends. You don't have to talk. You don't have to say nothing. We just go. And that's when she engaged in conversation. Because I guess she got a little, uh, maybe not defensive, but she started trying to talk more. She started talking about shit she was going to school for. Like, okay, I'm going to school for physical, I, I forgot what she said, a dental assistant and physical therapy or something like that. I don't know. But that, that, that made me a little more proud because I, I'm like, okay, I'm making her nervous. I feel like something but then when she started talking about shit she was going to school for the, w what went through my mind was like i'm a i'm a, I'm f a fucking loser right that's what i was thinking but then she kept going on about movies that she liked right and she, we was talking about scary movies and shit like that and she was like okay give me your number and i was like oh okay so she, we've been texting each other, right? We've been texting each other back and forth. I still, she's still in a relationship, but she's been texting me about shit that's going on in her relationship, about her crying and shit like that. And I'm not emotional. This shit is nasty to me. It's icky. I don't like it. But that's this is where you come into play. I need your advice about how to handle this situation right now. Okay, so part the one one thing I have to know is how it's emotional. Is it emotional like she's basically saying, "I don't know, I just feel so hurt, and I don't know why she does this to me." Kind of that that kind of emotional, or is it emotional like, um, is it is it blamey emotional or non blamey emotional? It's I'm sorry, say again? A little bit of blamey. I think it's a little blamey. Okay. Like, she need to apologize. I think I got the text right here. I'm not going to read it because, you know, personal shit, but she... Yeah, yeah. She, like... She keep, like, calling me names or whatever. <laughs> she she won't me? apologize and shit like that. She's calling... Like, she, me. Oh, yeah, I see. Right. So she's talking about... Yeah, her about girlfriend is calling her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, well, let me tell you right now, Unify. You don't want... The advice is you don't want to win this battle. You're not meant to be with an INFP. And you don't want this... You don't... If you win this battle, then 
you're the one that she's sending text to somebody else about. Oh, shit. Because he, see, this is the, the thing about an INFP, right? Is that everything works except the emotion, the feeling, and shit like that. Like we mush perfect, perfectly together, but it, that heavy, that heavy hit is that feeling. And my like dominant TI or her dominant FI, is, it, it just won't work. But I feel like it can. I feel like if we just get past that one bear, that one hurdle, then I mean I can see the look on your face like you fucking idiot. But this is but like that one hurdle. Us. <laughs> what, what, you, you say one hurdle, but wouldn't that be a consistent hurdle? Yeah. It's yeah. it's a big hurdle, but I mean I feel like it's something that can be overcome, right? Okay, but unify it, look. Let me talk about my cat. My cat only has one hurdle too. My cat goes into heat. And she's, whether she's in heat or not, she plays around with Compton a lot. She chases Compton, Compton chases her, and they, they wrestle and shit, you know? When she's in heat, she thinks all the time that Compton's gonna hump her. Compton, but Compton's a female dog, so that's not gonna happen, right? She keeps lying down and then Compton comes up and like bites her on the neck like they do when they play except now Kitty thinks she's about to get some action because that's how cats do it you know they cat the male cat bite the chick cat's neck the back of the neck and and hold her still while he does his business <laughs> anyway <laughs> so, so that's what the cat thinks that Compton is doing and she gets very annoyed that he ne she never does that and you know she doesn't understand that it, it's not just, well, if there's just this one little hurdle here. You're right there, there's one little hurdle. You've got to be able to, to get over this little hurdle. It's not just one little hurdle. It's like a fundamental breakdown in in the compatibility. This is, and I know it's complicated. It's really complicated, too. Because I know it's, I'm not saying you two are necessarily incompatible. I'm just saying, in theory, it, it's like that. Yeah, in theory, it just won't work, but but I don't know. I really don't know. I feel like if you try, well, no, nah, because I, I don't been down that road. Here's what I think, you know, I, I think you like her a lot. Yeah. And, and she's probably pretty cute. Yeah. And when that, those two things are in play, there are lots of good reasons why why signals that this is not a good idea should be ignored. There's, there's always, for in any user, there's always plenty of reasons why the stop signs regarding that pretty girl you really like should be ignored. It's really tempting to, because it's so, I know like that feeling of new new chick in the mix, maybe it's going to happen, and it's sort of in that electric, is it going to happen now phase or something like that. You know, you know what, it's another part, it, it, it's like, I guess, it's, the rare types I think have this, INTPs, like INFJs and shit like that, where you feel like it, there are very few people you come in contact with that are close enough like that are like you in that way that relate to you in that kind of way and so when you find somebody like that you want to like latch on as much as possible you just don't want to let go I think that's part of what it is because I've run into a lot of people that is completely opposite to me but I still like I have to play the part and you know what I mean well but this one is I, different I, I think well it sounds to me like you're you're not experiencing many ends in your life because yes INFP will you you're gonna be like oh my god I, I you and I can actually connect if all you are experiencing is a bunch of S's around you you're gonna have yeah. that experience with any N but what I'm saying is you're like you came from a room that's full of vegan stuff right you've been eating vegan shit your whole life Mm -hmm. And you're like, well, one thing that's clear to me is that eating food is not a pleasant experience. And then you go into this room, 
and there's a like half acidly prepared like kind of overcooked steak that's not super high quality and you're like oh my god yeah I'm gonna stay in this room and eat these steaks right here of course the steak is perfect but it, it, but no the good steaks are a couple rooms down that steak's better than what you've been having in the other room sure but trust me that's not the steak you want that steak is half acid for for your purposes you'd rather have a better steak like maybe an ENFJ or an INFJ yeah, but uh, the weight for the, the, the or the right steak, I might starve to death. That's what I'm scared of. <laughs> the waiting, well, and I'm not. I'm. I take pride in like being this the cyber person. That's like I don't need to be in a relationship, right? But I can feel it. I can feel it really deep down. I, I it's something there that I need. You're an INTJ, right? <laughs> INTP. INTP. Yeah. I know you ain't gotta say it. Say what? What a uh, fucking idiot. No. No, I'm not saying that. <laughs> Listen, Unify, I, where, where do you work, right? Do you, do you work at, uh, like, a retail place or what? A restaurant. A restaurant? Yeah. Cool. I want to know about Detroit. I want to go to Detroit. Yeah, you, you can't come, but... Uh, well, I, I don't want to say, but you can come. You are welcome. Do you think I'd enjoy it there? Uh, it's if a lot to do in very few places. If I went to Detroit and I stayed in a hotel downtown or something like that... Um, would you like show me around? Uh, given that I know where we are at the given moment, maybe yeah. Okay, so I mean, you you wouldn't just to make this clear. If I did decide to go to Detroit, which <laughs> yeah, I never know. Okay, I like this idea a lot. If I did decide to go visit Detroit, then you'd be cool with hanging out with me at least some of the time. I'm it'll probably stay in Detroit for a pretty good long time. But you'd be oh, shit. meeting me and hanging out with me and making a video. Yes or no? See, you made a lot of commitments all in one <laughs> sentence. Oh, yeah, I did that, didn't I? <laughs> well, because Unify, you know, you have this little SE problem of yours. You're an INTP. I, my job as ENTP is to light a fire under you. <laughs> yeah, and I don't I'm like just fire. doing my job here. You gotta <laughs> let me do my job, okay? <laughs> That's what the cops say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's complicated. You know what? I'm seeing somebody, so you can't see me. I'm sorry, Eric. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. No, but the point is, you know, it's not complicated. It's very simple. I want to go to Detroit <laughs> and make a video there with you. A video about what? I don't know. The same shit we talk about here. Except it'll be, look at this, it's fucking unified and I'm in Detroit. How fucking rad is that? <laughs> you know, it's like that thing. <laughs> There's nothing more to it than that. Oh, uh, like, shit. This is my whole, this is what I've dreamed of my whole life. I'm finally able to do it. I got Zachary out to Utah. Maybe I'm going to Detroit. Who knows? I mean, I'm not making any final plans for about a month. In about a month, I'm going to have all my finances determined for this for this school year. I'm in this process of, of money's going back and forth, so I don't know how much money I have right now. When I find right. out what my financial situation is in about one month from now and everything settles down, and I'm hopeful that it'll be, it'll give me a pool of money to play around with and do some shit with, then then totally I want to do something like that. In fact, that has moved near the top of my list here of shit I want to do. It can't be that expensive to stay in Detroit. I bet it's really not. It's cheap. That's what I bet. Yeah. And number two, fuck yeah, I want to go to Detroit. Wait, you know my commitment? You know where it, I'm feeling? I want to know where it is. I want to get know how much am I getting from you. I want to get at least one video. 
Well, it, did did Zach go to Utah? Yeah, Zach went to Utah. See, that's now I'm feeling like yeah, I can do this. Like yeah, if you come, maybe, just maybe I can. You know what I'm saying? I I'll, I I'll tell you what I, I, what I'm gonna do is when I get a little bit more finalization about details and stuff, is as if it comes together. I'll try to get Zach to to give you some INTP coaching about how to deal with the fact that you don't know exactly what's going to happen, and yet yeah. it's still going to be okay. That's that's just baffling to me. Yeah, he had the balls to go to Utah. I wish I had it. And he had a great time. And he'll tell you, I'm fun to hang out with. <laughs> You're making it all the way to... Detroit, you might as well just drive a few more hours, because like I live in Southwest Ohio, so considering yeah. the difference between Fuck considering yeah. the difference between no, California okay, and Detroit, look, it's, this is this is how shit actually happens. This is how shit actually happens that comes together. Is now we're starting to get an itinerary. So I've got. Let me write down the locations. I, I can make a little like a a four day jaunt that I can visit Unified and you and somebody else. That'd be perfect. Like, like a great. video, like a video chain. Well, yeah, right? like Just, a, like, like I don't know, a super cool adventure where, where somehow, life has magically afforded me the opportunity to go meet people I know <laughs> from my YouTube channel and real life, and like, I mean, it's just it's it's ENTB heaven, dude. It's fucking ENTB heaven. You know what? This is wave. this is giving me like this thing that's just it's boiling inside me. So you know what I'm about to do right now? What's that? Are you about to because I just had a revelation. You're gonna commit to something here? Yeah. There we go. Oh, oh, he's coming out. See, it's happening. It's Damn. slowly but surely it's happening. I don't know what's happening. No, see, <laughs> he's, 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 he's not Unify anymore. He's Jerome. Oh, there you go. No. He, he, he evolved. His Pokemon evolution <laughs> happened. Oh, my God. Unify, I, did you just tell me your actual first name? And this is my revelation because of your encouragement, right, and the boss that Zach had to do what he did. This is what I'm giving to you right there. That's my present. Thank you. Unify slash Jerome. I would prefer, if you're okay with it, for me to continue calling you Unify because that's what I'm used to calling you. Yeah, 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 that's fine. I mean, let me okay. change it back because, yeah, I just confused myself. <laughs> it's um, like wiping sweat off his brow, like, thank God we're going back to Unify. <laughs> Why does Ken have an unfair advantage? What's that? Why does Ken have an unfair advantage? It says, Barry says Ken has an unfair advantage. He says, California. He will die peasant. Oh, okay. Well, I guess uh, I have an unfair advantage because I will die peasant. <laughs> before that, he says. Oh, question before that. Where do you stay, Ken? What's up? Where do you stay? Where do I stay? Are you talking about? Where, where do you live? Uh, Southwest Ohio, like Dayton area. Oh, okay, okay. Not too far yeah. from me. Yeah. Yeah, the the idea of like visiting Detroit or something like that doesn't seem too scary to me because I live near Dayton. <laughs> so it's <Yeah>. like... <laughs> it's like... Yeah, you get, a, uh, you get a, like a little bit of it, like a part of it. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, it, it's just sort of that vibe that's given off in neighborhoods where it's like uh, where there's like shut down auto plants and stuff like that <laughs> where it's like things used to be going on and now not so much yeah yeah I got a lot of it what is yeah there was like a what's that I don't know Barry's uh, Barry's being pretty cryptic he's I'm 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 curious about 
this question as well. But I'm sorry, I, I actually don't want to get quite so sidetracked by that question right now. Um, because I'm, I'm planning a trip. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to Ohio. I'm going to Dayton. Dayton's a very, I must say, it's not quite as good as Akron, but it's it's pretty close. As far Are you as good your, Akron? Uh, no, I'm talking about no. as far as the archetype of the city. Okay. Uh, Akron and Dayton, they both sound like this. Now listen up here, Mister. We run we run a tight ship around here. We run things a good old fashioned way. That's how I imagine Dayton and Akron. They're like the same city in my head, right? Because it's sort of like Ohio place. <laughs> Akron, maybe more so. Dayton, I'm not so sure. Dayton's like, it's like a melting pot of different stuff. It's like you, you get some people that they sound like the people on the news. You know, they're talking like this. Everything's, you know, there's no accents really. It's just, it's like the guys on national television. And then you get some of the more guys that are like, they're from like, you know, more like Kentucky area, stuff like that. They're saying like y'all, things like that. You know, it's like a lot of different variety. There's a lot of different stuff. You get people who aren't even speaking English. It's like, it's like it's a, it's like variety without really the allure of variety. It's not like, it's like, a, it's just weird sometimes. Hmm. So when am I going to do this? Let me think about this date, likelihood dates. I want to do it definitely before Christmas. So. It's now almost September. Uh, I'd probably be looking at the week before Thanksgiving week would be a good week to go. You could always uh, come around and we could go hunting around and try to spot Dave Chappelle in the wild because he's nearby. Uh, does he live in uh, Dayton? No, nah, he lives nearby. In the woods? No, a place called Yellow Springs. It's like a defunct art, uh, not defunct, but it was like, it's like an artist community. Okay. It's like people just like out Did walking they have a goats. Super big house? Do they have a big house? I don't know. I don't know what he's got. All I've heard is just various, you know, like mythological style stories of like people saying he just like crashes barbecues and whatnot. I don't understand why Ken has an unfair advantage yet, though. Because maybe it's because you're close to Unify. Maybe that's what I was referring to. Anyway, yeah. so is that week work for both of you guys? The week before Thanksgiving week? I'm free whenever. Okay, let me look at the calendar. I get the actual the numbers. World, the world could end by then, but sure. Let's just... Uh... Might... Look, this is the thing. I, I used to not quite get this either, that you actually have to... If you're going to do stuff, you got to plan it kind of far in advance. I hate that. I wish it was just like, oh, well, I'll, I'll go two weeks from now. But yeah. it just, you got to kind of plan shit a little bit, unfortunately. So which date is the is Thanksgiving? Is it 17th or 24th? How do you know that? How do you find that out? Internet? Okay, I'll ask the internet. Yeah, this will work out as long as you don't, you know. Try to stay in my house. I don't. Oh don't no, no. Oh, no, 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 yeah, no. I'm not weird. staying with anybody. Mm -hmm. I'm not going. Oh, the extent to which I will impose upon you is I'm gonna. We're gonna define ahead of time that yeah, okay, I'll make one video with you or whatever, and and then if you if you feel like doing more after that, fine. If not, that's fine too. I don't mean to impose upon anybody at all. It's 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 like cute when a friend from high school is like, hey, I'm gonna be in state. You mind if I crash? It's different when it's like, hey. Mom and Dad, there's a guy I met on the internet from California. <laughs> I, I, I would never dream of traveling and staying with another person, even if I felt they were, I was intimate enough with that individual, long enough history or close enough for it to be going, that I could, that it was, I, I would feel justified in doing it. Even in that circumstance, I never would because I'm very fussy about that shit. <laughs> isn't, isn't the, the, the potential house guest provider is much less fussy than the hypothetical health guest too because I don't I hate fucking not having shit my way in every little detail of things in my space, you know? Yeah. I, I just I don't like having to do the F E work. That's what it is. I don't like being a guest at somebody's house 
because I don't want to have to do the FE work. These cars annoying you. No, that's fine. They were at first, but now they're now they're nice and meditative. They're like rhythmic. I'm thinking about just shooting every car that go past. Get a slash yeah, sniper. But, yeah, something. but then you then you'd land in the slammer and then Eric wouldn't be able to visit you. So you need to be thinking about your future, sir. Well, he, he's, you're right, Ken, but I would also point out that in Detroit, it actually would take the cops about seven months to investigate. <laughs> so we could probably squeeze it in the time frame okay. Yeah. Uh, I think I heard somewhere that uh, the Walking Dead TV show considered shooting in Detroit and I'm like, that, that's kind of like, ah, cool, they're shooting, but at the same time it's like, hey, because it's like the place has to be crappy enough to look like a dystopian post-apocalyptic world. Yeah. They've had a couple movies like that here. A lot of stuff gets shot in Ohio, too, for some weird reason. Like, I think in the Avengers, they shot the New York scenes that actually took place in Cleveland, and then they had some scenes that were supposed to take place in Russia, and it's like, oh. it was Ohio. Mm -hmm. Is Detroit dangerous? Uh, see, that's a tricky question. I mean, you it's, can... Not gonna, it's not going to dissuade me. I'm just kind of I'm just curious as to how much danger I'm walking into. I, well, it's just... I have no problem with it, but... Well, you can it's, it's... walk... Down the street, up and down the street. Well, I I would prefer staying on main streets with like street lights and witnesses and shit. But <laughs> fine. But, but there you go. That's Just don't walk into the darkness. Yeah, I don't. I, I don't know if I can even guarantee that for Dayton. I mean, you should probably just stay in a moving vehicle. <laughs> well. I have never had any problems anywhere, really, in my life, except London, England. Actually, the only place that I was victimized by a crime, where I was robbed of money. Was it, like, at gunpoint, or was it... No, it was at... at cornered kind of two guys, two bigger guys than me and they had a very thin flimsy justification for why I owed them much more money than I owed them at this sort of shady looking bar that I'd gone into because I was 18 and I could drink in England. <laughs> so mm -hmm. I, it was I mean put it this way I wasn't getting out of there without either giving them my money or winning the physical combat kind of a thing. It was, it was, that was abundantly clear. So, uh, you Just know, gave I, them something. I gave them, I, they, they were demanding more money than I had with me. I didn't have that much money on me. So, it, uh, first of all, I, I'm happy I made the decision to give them the money and, and leave. And if I... If I hadn't made that decision, you would be dead, maybe. I I don't know if I would have killed me, but I think they would have still ended up with the money, and I would have been injured. Oh, okay, okay. Ugh. You don't uh, want to play the testosterone game. I don't like that game. Yeah, I don't like that game either. I like that game as long as it's all words. Yeah. And I like that game fine. I don't want us to not. I don't want us to leave the world of words at all because, and not just because I'm bad at it, but also because it's actually dangerous rather than just. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, this feels like a pretty good stopping spot. So. Um, I'm going to end this video and say thank you very much to those people who are in the room for hanging out with me. I thought it was a lot of fun. I thought we had a lot of good conversations tonight. And for the viewers at home, hopefully you thought so as well. If not, then we'll try to do better. And thank you Something about cheese. Something about cheese, yeah. For sure. Yeah. You choose which thing.